Is this working? I might be. Yeah, this is working. Good. Um, okay. <clears throat> this looks good. Seems to work. Oops. Um, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, um, today I want to um, do a bit of transcription work in Dorical. Wait, I just have to. Close this. And give me a second because I will um, close this. Uh, I have to get used to this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just fooling around here. Where can I put this? Here. Here I can go to the camp. Now you can see me. I'll be doing a uh, few uh, transcriptions today. And is the microphone loud enough? just pull this here I need some different sound just want something going <laughs> recording session a few weeks ago and um, <clears throat> voice mic could be louder okay I'll turn it up wait wait a second uh, let me see if I can do this here uh, this is already pulled up so is the voice mic better now let me just adjust this a bit Hope this will do it. Um, okay, um, I'll be doing a, a transcription today from a song that I played on, or it's actually three songs. Let's uh, see how much of this we can do. Um, I'll just open up Dorico. Da -da -da. And I have to look at my notes because um, the thing is, um, the recording session was uh, not done at my studio. Um, I went out. I went out to record um, at a studio of a friend, and the guy I recorded for he is a Croatian uh, singer, songwriter, and he's also a guitar player. Um, 
and we used to record his his songs and um <clears throat> Um, what he asked me to do, he uh, he wrote me an email and asked me if I am. Uh, there are three songs where I play guitar solos on them, and he wanted to uh, learn them. And he asked me if I could transcribe them for him. Um, so he sent me the recordings of the tracks. Um, I haven't listened to them yet. Um, it's been a few weeks since we recorded them and I have absolutely no clue uh, what I played back then so uh, we'll just figure that out as we go he sent some notes here <laughs> I'll have to just start with this one I use transcribe for that. Um, I don't know if these are the finished mixes yet or if everything had, has already been recorded. Um, so bear with me. I have no clue what song this is because <laughs> the title, I don't speak Croatian, so uh, I don't know what the title means. Okay, that's this one. Where's the solo? Around two, is it here? No. Where's the guitar solo? Come on. There it is. Okay. We're in C. That's not a lot. These are just eight bars of solo. Um, let me just check a few things in Dorico. I need a pickup bar. That starts on the three end. So um, I'm new to Dorico, so this might <laughs> just take me a second. Uh, I need a. Four, four time signature that starts with a uh, dotted quarter note, right? Uh, I don't know if this is right. Wait, um, let me see. Can I put this here? Pick up bar. Boom. Let's make two beats. All right, just start. You can now see me fully losing it in Dorico. <laughs> That's an E flat. Where was the flat? This one. Uh, bup, 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 
ba ba I need 16th notes. Oh, this is so different to Sibelius, so bear with me. Um, I need triplets. What's the shortcut for triplets? I don't know. Oops. Ah. <laughs> Ah, uh, wait, I gotta turn this to sixteenth notes so I can shorten it. Okay, we gotta put in a oops. Do I need to insert this? I guess so. Yes. There's a slide here. Oops. Bear with me, I'm just learning the problem. I have this program new and it uh, might just take me ages to do things here that I'm very accustomed to in uh, Sibelius or Finale. Um, this is a bending. This is a slide here. Da -da -da. This is a slide here too. And I'll figure out the um, just for for the sake of it. I'll figure out the um, um, the fingerings where exactly I played it later because this doesn't matter now. Why are these? I want these to be eighth notes. These look better at eighth notes. <laughs> Why I changed my, my transcribing um, software, um, uh, just uh, because I wanted, um, uh, I learned about Dorico uh, some time ago and I quite liked how the program looked and worked. Um, so I decided to get it and uh, so w why not learn a new uh, program? It's just, uh, yeah. So there was a way, show hold, was it this? Or do I need to do it here? Yeah, that's nice. Uh, okay. Let me just check what the tempo is of this. Uh, I need my metronome. Let's just give it um, that. Was it this? No. Um, here it is. It's uh, quarter equals 123. That must be it. There's no click here. Why? Do I have a click? <clears throat> I don't know. Try this. Ah, okay, gotta turn it off. Oh nice. <laughs> I hate it already. <laughs> Where is the, uh, where 
press that thing where do I find the click come on okay so I'll just leave the beep in there although I hate it let's just not care about this This is not a triplet. This is actually a... Wait, let me delete this. Can I do this? Yes. Um, this, these are 30 second notes. I forgot something I wanted to do. I wanted to post that live stream to my Facebook, my channel. Wait, 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 wait. I need that link. I'll be right back transcribing. Oh, and by the way, uh, fuck. <laughs> this is me being totally not doing it right. Yeah, now you can see what I'm doing. And maybe I'll move myself down here and make myself a bit smaller so you can see actually what I'm doing. So I'll copy the link, copy this to my Instagram. Why? Where is it? My sometimes I hate it to do it like this. Uh, I'll forget about Instagram. I'll just post it on my Facebook. Maybe I'll just put myself out of the screen and just let you see the screen. So does, did this move? So like this. That's good. Okay. So. <coughs> Back to it. 
I'll just I don't remember if it is if there's a different way in Dorico than doing this. If I could move it to another string. Wait, there must be edit. There, there's no tablature. Hmm. Ah, it was this. Okay, got it. Dorico is good. I love it. Um, I'm still getting to know it, so I'm not as fast as in Sibelius. Uh, but it has some very nice features, and it does like automatically hold bands, and um, it does some some stuff really really nice right from the get go. Um, let me just change this. I don't want an accidental here. Where is it? Come on. But, uh... <laughs> but sometimes it gets me and I don't find things. Well, at least not yet. Can I switch this off? No. something wrong here about to recall why is it se i don't have as you have a full version of dorico wait just let me restart my dorico um what's the name of that song that was Why is this here happening? Oops. There we go. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> Here we go. Now I have my engraving options and change things around. Accidentals, penalized. There's like a lot of things you can 
adjust in Dorico, which is um, can be good sometimes. Sometimes it can be a bit much. Where was it? And one thing I don't understand is when you're in write mode and edit mode, you have different um, different menus showing you different things, um, and that can be a bit no here, no cautionary here, no cautionary, no cautionary. Okay, apply close. Now it's gone. Da, 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 da. This is the four end of four. Da, da, da. Starts with a bending from G to A. Da, da, da. That's a half step bending. This is wrong. I got this wrong. Listen to this. Okay, this is longer. Oops. Insert mode. These are two eighth notes. This one's shorter. This should be it. Let me just turn the click. 
down. Where do I have? Wait, no mixer. This is it. Where's the click? Let's turn this down a bit and turn the guitar up. So we can hear what we do. Boom. Let's listen to this again. This is a sixteenth note and this too. Got it here, so let's listen to this again. That's it. This is a bending. See, we got a lot of uh, new viewers here, 11 in the chat. Welcome. I'm just transcribing some of my guitar solo I had to play in a studio session. Um, let's do this, make this a double bar line. Let's enter some chords. Let's see. exactly the same phrase as I played well, down here. Nah. What a 
Grace Lord. That's an E flat again. Oops. the shortcuts in this program honestly <laughs> mm. from nearby Stuttgart I'm also nearby Stuttgart here too or do I need to hmm. can I make that hole longer hmm <laughs> now this is oops did this move I just want this to be longer why show hold hold end offset here we go that's the X okay seven nope now we can to put this one down. Neuhausen.
insert mode. Nah. So how can I change this to an A sharp? change this put it back to zero hold start offset I need this to be longer no I'll fix this later listen to this Um, Dorico is very good in comparison to Sibelius. Um, I love it. Um, only thing uh, that I uh, can tell is the difference to Guitar Pro because I only have Guitar Pro to um, wait. Let's let's turn the, the camera on again. Um, I only have Guitar Pro to um, uh, yeah. Okay, let's do this differently. Um, I don't use Guitar Pro to write anything uh, because I never learned the software and I don't like the look of it. Uh, so why should I use... Um, software like this I'm, I'm i'm not used to why come on wait i want a grace note in here and put a pending there too 
Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like the look of uh, Guitar Pro, and so I never learned it. And um, it ain't a very serious, um, like uh, notation tool for publications too, because I worked for publishers and learned on Finale first, and then switched to CBLS, and now I'm. Um, trying to learn um, uh, what's this oh, I can do prevents here um, I'm trying to learn like a notation programs that can actually be published no Dorico is a general uh, general notation program it's not especially designed for guitars so let me just see what these um, what these can do this is a half step pre-band let's try this what this looks like give this a da -da -da. Was it diminished to minor two? This is it. Da -da. And this is the same. We can do the pre band. Da -da -da. Pre band interval. Minor second. Pre band direction down. This no. Oh wait. Has to be like this. And minor second. But now I have to flip this. Right. Ah why? <laughs> These are some things I don't understand in Dorico. Why does it do this? Why does it? This doesn't look good. Let's stick with the two bendings I've had before. I'll do this to release bend. Boom. Doom. And do the same here. Okay, that was wrong. I have to kill the prevent here first. Yeah, I use Guitar Pro only when I have to uh, look things up for students when they want to um, learn certain th songs and you kind of um, uh, look the tablatures up on the internet and uh, I hated two things about this uh, the ultimate guitar stuff is mostly wrong um, so you always have to fix that sh stuff and um, yeah it's I just don't really love it um, can I change this string indicators no I want I want this to be a pre-band oh, I can do the show hold band which is way too long now why is that? These are some things that I don't understand in Dorico as of yet. It's four minus five or six. This might do it. Yeah. 
Dorico does what I don't like is it has it makes the bands far too wide. So I usually um, where is it? Put this to one point five. One horizontal span for pre band, one apply. One five, apply. Now this looks a bit better. Now we'll have to do the glissandi or the glissando lines. Minimal position, straight line, thickness, vertical offset, blah, 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 horizontal position, minimum gap, one, one, oops, why is it two, one, I want one, apply, close, now this is not so messed up, the glissandi, this looks kind of good. So usually I am uh, <laughs> I'm a bit faster at transcribing, but this is uh, this is new to me, so uh, bear with me. This looks, this doesn't look good. Let's, let's go into the guitar bendings again. Bend line, bend height, pre bend. Oh, this looks better just a bit better it's not good yet but we'll get there let's start hold offset and offset come on here we go and this one too need this a bit longer Minus five, minus four. Let's listen to this one more time.
as of now, uh, the... Uh, what I work for right now, no, um, I've played a studio job a few weeks ago and the uh, singer and songwriter, he himself is a guitar player and he wanted to learn the solos I played on these recordings and asked me um, if I was kind enough to um, transcribe them from him. So this is what I'm doing right now. Let's just... Uh That's the name of it. Boom. And uh, this is something I haven't done. Is it this? No, this one. I don't know why Dorico does that, but I hate this. Apply changes. So this work now is not for a publisher. But this looks this looks good. <coughs> Seems legend. The only thing I could do is like tidy this up a bit here and do a system break here. And so I have this here. Not looking as bad as it is. No hold offset here. But put this down here. Yeah, that looks good. Just save it. Thank you. Yeah, I always try to. Um, I always try when I when I'm playing uh, solos in a um, studio context where I'm booked for this kind of session work. I always try to keep it um, simple and as you might see from the from the from the licks I played I start with a phrase and uh, repeat it here like one octave higher just to um, uh, re repeat the phrases and, and, and keep it simple. This is uh, something I've always tried to do to make this to make the songs or, or the solos that I play more um, memorable, I guess. Just like I, I, I've always been a guy that uh, leaned more towards the simple stuff when it came to stuff like this. Okay, one thing I will do is like I flip these. Oops, what is it? Uh, flip is F. And the looks like shit if I do it I'll leave it yeah Dorico they have to uh, I've been on the forum there and posted a few things here and there with some requests for the tablature stuff that um, I find is not there yet I mean Dorico is a, a program that is like how long has it been around it's it's version 3 now I mean it's been around like for 2 years maybe and um, for that it is awesome what they do with the normal engraving besides the guitar stuff I mean guitar engraving is very very special um, and there are many things that make problems in guitar notation. Um, but um, I like the overall look of, of Dorico. 
when you have like normal scores and stuff and uh Usually when I'm, I'm writing stuff or transcribing stuff for myself, I don't, um, I don't do, um, I don't do a tablature very often. Normally when I write stuff, I just have, um, I just write normal notation unless I do something very guitar specific or I do something for um, my teaching where I usually then do, um, where I do, Oh my God, I'm running out of words now. <laughs> Where I do very guitar specific stuff. Um, and yes, it's very good to transcribe uh, your own playing because they, it shows you what you do and uh, how you do it and gives you a overlook on that. So I think this is fine. Yeah, we've been one hour live already. Nice one. Let's do. This is the, uh, let's do another one. Guitar with tablature, new from template. Uh, what's the other thing? Ah, that's the country song. <laughs> so what does he need here? He needs a solo and the figure 135 to 150. Let's look for this. Oh, it's getting slow again. This is the thing when I'm streaming that long, my computer gets slower and slower and slower, which is not good. Just delete that flow thing here because I don't want that. I don't want the flow heading. No, 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 no. So apply. <laughs>
good. Honey and uh, let's start with a E sharp. down here uh, that is here yes we'll have a Oops. that's a slide two Dorico does a few things here that I don't like, but who cares? We'll just transcribe this now. So it looks okay. I hope this is not too boring. <laughs> if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm just trying to get, uh, get this done. 
Do the slurs. So these do what I want. I could do this here. No. Where is it? Slurs on ties. Stuff first note. This apply close. Yes, this looks good. So It's three and six. Here we go. Now, can I do multiple of these? I would love just to go from here to here. Yes, that's the way to do it. on my nerves but as I said I'm still trying to figure this out um, well not in the kind of, I mean uh, when I'm when I'm out doing solos in the studio or um, doing solos also in my studio at home and I'm recording 
I'm not sitting there with pen and pencil and writing out solos, but I usually give myself a few uh, a few times to play over it and um, improvise a few times. And with every time I play it, I try to find things that work and find things that I stick to and um, thus create um, kind of a composed solo, I would say. Um, but um, it's, it's not that I sit there and, and give myself the, uh, the workflow that I sit there and compose a solo. It, it just, I just improvise and, and do take for take for take and keep more and more things and so in the end, when I end up with uh, with stuff like that, it usually mm -hmm. is kind of a composed solo because I, um, um, yeah, just because uh, um, I, the, the more and more I play it, um, the more I stick with stuff um, and try to replicate it for the next take and so kind of compose as I go. So these are not like the first take solo but some of these fill-ins from the from the from the verse here are actually they are improvised this is like this is not uh, composed but there's a solo later on in that song um where it took me i guess minimum a minimum amount of 15 to 20 takes until we had it where where i wanted it um yeah, so that's how, how I go about this. It's not like I, I sit there and work stuff out at home, um, but I usually um, go for stuff that I like and keep it and, and then go from there and, and write as I go. That, like, that's like my workflow when it comes to sewing in the studio.
can do this. Um, first, we need a rest. How do I enter a rest? <laughs> Come on. Maybe I just need to add some bars. Where was this? Insert bars and the flow. Let's do 20 insert bars. Boom. Off we go. is a bending dial. So da, 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 da. this is a hammer on. Don't dip your So now we have to insert some stuff. We need a pre-bend a oops. I think I need to input a I think I did it wrong because I have if I input this here Ah, that's it. Nice. This seems to work out. Yes, that's fine. This is the wrong direction. Can I flip this? Why 
is that now? Let's do it again. Put this here. Okay, I just I just changed this one. Okay to me. But maybe I should just change this to a quarter note. Does this work? Nope. Can I transfer this to a different voice? is a bending. Can I hide this? I know I can hide this. Remove rest. And this is I shouldn't have inserted this. Just seeing if 
anybody. Reply on Facebook to my post. Nope. But I think this is okay. Oops, no. This is it. Let's do a final bar line here. Extend this one and make this look kind of okay. Are just fucking eight, no, eight notes, eighth notes, right? Ah, shit. Okay, this one, this is a This is the cool thing about Dorico. This is awesome. Um, this is just an eighth note. Now let's look at this. Boom. Now it made all of these eighth notes. is no this again <laughs> ah, when it doesn't work but I fixed this one at least to input this.
Oh, this bugs me. <lacht> Bernd, du kannst mich gerne zu einer Skype zoom lassen buchen zu dem Programm, aber ich bin selbst ehrlich gesagt noch nicht ganz so fit in Dorico, muss ich zugeben, ähm, weil ich das Programm selber erst seit ein paar Wochen habe und noch nicht so unfassbar viel damit gemacht habe. Also ich mach grad, bin gerade auch in der Lernphase und bin auch ehrlich gesagt noch ziemlich am Suchen, ähm, aber wir können gerne mal skypen, wenn du Bock hast. This one, zip, insert. Spending and the slide here. good to me. Crave mode, insert a page break here. Insert one here. is okay I guess let's do the hold band again show hold If I enter a band here, what will happen? Nothing will happen. Can I kind of offset? What's, what's this doing? Nothing. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, 
update it here. Need to do this here. Nope, I need to fix this by hand. Also ich bin äh, mit Sibelius jetzt die letzten Jahre unterwegs gewesen und äh, mag es eigentlich auch sehr gerne. Ähm, also mein Ansatz Richtung Dorico mal zu gucken war vor allem auch ähm, der, dass das komplette Sibelius, also das komplette ehemalige Sibelius-Team im Prinzip jetzt äh, Dorico aufgebaut hat und äh, dort arbeitet, also gerade mit Daniel Spradbury. Ähm, und ich war für Sibelius 3, war ich damals Beta-Tester. Ähm, und seit die an Avid verkauft wurden, ist das alles ein bisschen schwieriger geworden und dann haben sie sich irgendwie abgespalten und sind zu Steinberg mit Dorico gegangen und wollen jetzt einige Sachen richtiger machen, die Sibelius äh, irgendwie nicht so geil macht. Ähm ich muss sagen, man kommt sicherlich mit allen Programmen irgendwie ans Ziel. Man muss es halt einfach kennen, das ist das Ding. Und ähm, ich bin in Sibelius, bin ich halt super eingearbeitet. Und in Sibelius, wenn ich jetzt sowas auf Zeit machen würde, beziehungsweise ähm, wenn ich ähm, einen, einen Payjob machen würde, dann würde ich jetzt uns auf Zeit ankommen. Dann würde ich jetzt sicherlich nicht in einem Programm arbeiten, das ich gerade erst lerne. Aber deswegen mache ich das jetzt gerade in der Zeit, wo wir ein bisschen mehr Zeit zur Verfügung haben und hocke mich da in Ruhe hin und. Ja, probier das mal aus. Genau, aber ich finde ich find Dorico finde ich eigentlich schon vom, vom, vom Prinzip her ziemlich cool. Es ist, hat halt einen anderen Workflow, ein paar Sachen, die anders funktionieren. Deswegen ist es ein bisschen schwieriger, ähm, sich darauf einzulassen, wenn man schon äh, irgendwie ein anderes Programm eigentlich ähm, gewöhnt ist, von Grund auf. Deswegen ist es, du hast halt immer die, äh, du hast halt immer die Lernkurve. Deswegen, ähm, wie gesagt, da bin ich halt gerade drin. Also ich habe noch keine eigenen Key Shorts, äh, Keyboard Shortcuts programmiert und so und äh, habe nur ganzen Shortcuts für die ganzen Tools noch nicht drin. Ähm, deswegen dauert das hier alles noch so ewig, bis ich das richtig notiert habe. Deswegen. Und dann muss das Solo um die 3 rum sein. Schauen wir mal. Wo ist das Solo? Thank you. 
Ja. How do I turn this on off? to turn these down again because I'm the lines spacing one one apply guitar bands spacing one point five one one point five apply and close this dead node option.
Come on. This is something I don't like about Dorito. It, you cannot specify uh, this to look like this without the other things changing around this. Or does it? No. Well, it does, but I have to go in here, force duration, put it to an eighth note, and then change it back to a quarter note. Could, could be easier. Wait, oh, for force duration and get a quarter note out of it. So, Thing here. Oh. 
Release band, slide, slide. Oops. And now we have that fast run.
How will I delete these? Can I delete these? If I started Chris Buckley's playing, uh, Chris Buck's playing, no, I didn't. But uh, I know what you mean, you mean these. Um, I think for me, it goes the same uh, as for him. Um, this is an absolute Mike Landau ripoff, these bendings with the slide. I got them from Mike Landau, not from, I, I, I know Chris Box, I've, I've known him for about, I guess, a year or two now. Um, so I'm not that familiar with his style. How can I remove bars? Come on. Edit bar numbers, voice. <laughs> where can I do this? Where, 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 where? Right. Hmm. <sighs> ah, here. Boom, here we go. What is it? We need a hold band here. Show hold. Let's do a few modifications here. This has to go down. This has to go down here. Ah, no, this looks good. Let's listen to this once, if it is right. I hate that click. Yeah, he does. He does all kind of uh, phrasing stuff that I admire, and um, I'm pretty sure, uh, yet alone from listening to him, that I know that he's a big Mike Landau fan, or that he listened to Mike uh, a lot, be it uh, aware or unaware. I mean, we've all uh, learned played stuff that Mike probably played on when we didn't know um, it is Mike playing. Where is it?
Come on. Yeah, but this looks good too. So we've been in two hours and I've transcribed two guitar solos with Dorico as software. I don't really know. Ah, let's put in the chords here. I'll do a double bar line here. And let's listen to the it started. Put this up. guests E minor to C to G to D to E minor boom uh, I think those uh, I think from Mike is uh, the same. I studied a lot of singers too, and they always do these kind of phrasings or embellishments, as you call them, um, which makes total sense. I mean, saxophone players and, and, and trumpet players do these things uh, all the time. And the, the trick is to not do, uh, when you have like a full tone or full step bed, is the, the, the trill is not a, a full step or the slide it's it's just a half step So I think this is enough for today. I mean, I, I've bugged you uh, two hours now streaming. I think this is more than enough. Um, so this is how I transcribe stuff. I mean, to transcribe this is has been fairly easy today because it's things I played and I think. I think there's a pull-off in there. There's a pull-off. I'm pretty sure. So this this is good. That's fine. Good. Yep. Yeah, so I just finished the chat now and do something different and get outside and get some sun, get some fresh air. Uh, yeah. I'll be streaming, I guess, next week or so. I'll do some more studio stuff maybe and talk about guitar tracking as there were some questions about that. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll figure that out. So take care. Bye.